Let's go. M4 hackathon. Let's do it. <laughs> Four hours ago, I released my startup and I'm going absolutely insane. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm barely sleeping. First of all, look at how beautiful this looks. We already have so many new listings. Just look at all of this. So we're currently in an open beta phase and only McGill students can sign up. But despite that, there's a total of 76 listings to date right now. And we also have a total of 105 users that have already signed up. So although that's an impressive amount already, I am so damn stressed right now. Now. Like, I just feel like we're out there now. It's our small opportunity to have some success. At the end of the day, if you don't have a user base, you are not successful. And that could not be more true, especially for a marketplace. If you do not have people buying and selling, what are you even doing? So me and my team are going to do literally everything possible to drive users. And I'm going to take you along with me. But one of the coolest things that we're getting into immediately is I'm going to be a sponsor at the McGill Hackathon. Like, isn't that absolutely crazy? So I'm going to go on stage in front of like 600 people and talk about myself and Emma. Empor, and then we're gonna have a booth for Empor as well. And it's just gonna be absolutely nuts. Life is so damn crazy. Let's see if it's possible to get a thousand users in our first two weeks while I'm still working out of my damn dorm room. All right, good morning. It's 8 a.m. I'm barely sleeping these days, it's crazy. But I'm on my way to the hackathon now. It's kind of practicing all the presentation in my head, stuff like that. I'm also just going a bit earlier to help set up the booth. So I'll see you when I get there. How do you feel? I feel great. A bit nervous to be honest, but uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of wing it and see how it goes. I'm excited to talk about Emporium to be honest. Like, Hell yeah! I wonder how many people could get signed up today. We'll keep a tally going. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, nerves from one to ten. Oh, I guess six or seven. Not too bad. Six or seven. Yeah. Good. <laughs> So I would like to invite Eric and his team on stage to talk to you. They have some really nice things to say. So please welcome them. As Wasi mentioned, we're also going to be hiring some interns for our team soon. So if you want that little bit to kickstart your career, it really helped me. Feel free to come out to our booth and apply. I just wanted to leave off on a note to remind you guys, you always overestimate what you could accomplish in one day as you're about to see at this hackathon, like you're all gonna pull all-nighters trying to build something. But more often than not, you underestimate what you could accomplish in one year. All right, I'm here with... Nicole. All right, so Nicole, what is your, what are you most excited for this weekend? I'm excited for the Metcalfs. Awesome. So now we're gonna ask you to roast our website. Take a look at it, swipe through, and give us your thoughts. Rate it from a scale of one to 10. Wow, I would give it a solid 10. I love, I love oh, this hell yeah. All right, who am I here with? Nick. We're going to ask you to rate our website oh, from a scale of 1 to 10. Or okay. roast it, whatever. Roast it, roast it. The UI is very intuitive, but one thing that I would, I think you guys can work on is your goal is at the end, make everyone post yeah. uh, yep. those things. Yeah, it has to be right in front of me in the page. And so that's exactly why we need a mobile dev team. So come <laughs> check us out. We can hire you. Yeah, please hire Join me. Join our I'm team. Join our team. It's been 12 hours since I've been in this building and that's my day done now. Honestly, everything went way better than I could ever have imagined. The presentation went amazing and we got so many people that are interested in applying to work for Empor, so we got a bunch of applications to go through. And every single person that came up to our booth absolutely loved the idea of Empor. This just makes me so motivated to keep on building. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's one week later. After the hackathon, we got around 250 users. So there's no time to waste. We need to be absolutely perfecting this website. We now have our weekly meeting with the entire team to discuss our strategies. So let's just jump straight into that. This is the option. Well, That's actually way too funny, yeah. Just finished the founder meeting. Now we have the general meeting with everyone to talk the strategic plan and everything. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, yeah. So let's say we have the three categories, like, and then within each subcategory, you could just list your ticket, just like you do normally, like any listing. Or we could link in the social that would be like, 
All right, that's finally done. Now we're gonna onboard two developers. One is gonna be a mobile app developer so we can finally get that damn app out. And another is more of a full stack guy who's gonna just help me with the front end and the back end of the app. Let's go back into that. Okay, they're all onboarded and they're ready to start coding now. It's kind of crazy that after six months of working on this basically by myself, I'm now gonna have a team of four developers. It just feels so weird that I'm building this out of my dorm room. All right, but before we get into that, I absolutely have to put you onto this crazy resource. I used it to apply to over 240 internships and it got me multiple interviews at big companies like TikTok, Amazon, Autodesk, Shopify, ServiceNow, ADP, Point72. It was so good for me, I basically begged them to sponsor this YouTube video so I can help put you guys on. So they're called usemassive.com and it basically helps you do the job search for you. The idea is it helps you mass apply to a bunch of companies by using AI to tailor your resume and then make sure you're the perfect candidate for each job. And you don't have to do a single thing except apply once. And the craziest thing is they have this mobile app where you just swipe left or right like Tinder. And then if you swiped right on the job, it will then apply to those jobs for you. So this just makes the entire process so much easier. And we know the job market is quick right now so it's an absolute numbers game the more you can apply the more you increase your odds of actually getting hired so i highly recommend you guys use it today too if you're still struggling to land interviews let's get back to the coding though anyways i just spent the last two hours in meetings i'm so tired of talking i'm just gonna sit down and code here for another couple hours i'll show you what i get up to and what our next steps are for that okay so what am i actually coding today as you can see since my last vlog we've added this events tab that's coming soon and that's because ticket reselling is one of the biggest sources of revenue you and one of the main reasons why people are actually excited for import in their universities. Like from the 400 or 500 people we surveyed a couple months ago, 96% of them said the feature they're most excited for is ticket reselling. So this is an absolute must. What I'm doing today is trying to figure out a workflow to actually get this possible. How different should it be to list a ticket as opposed to a product? And how can we prevent scams? Some things I'm thinking about are doing a half up front, half after kind of payment processing to avoid scamming. And another thing I'm looking at is with Spring Boot, there's actually a way to scan your QR codes. So I'll make it mandatory for a person who wants to sell their ticket to upload a picture of their QR code. And that way we could kind of get the information from the QR code to make sure that no duplicates are being sold. So that way, at least we could guarantee that on Empor, your ticket is unique. Anyways, there's a lot of work to get done on that. And we want this released like ASAP. So I think I'm in for a long night now. Let's get straight into it. I only have to stop because I have work tomorrow at Autodesk in the morning that I have to wake up for. And that actually kind of got me thinking. I'm gonna be interning this summer at Amazon. So literally by just building out this startup, I got a software engineering internship at both Autodesk and Amazon. And here's why. I've been coding Empor for the last six months and so far it has features like creating and selling your own listings using Firebase, live chatting with WebSockets, and using Stripe as a microprocessor to handle payments, and then I used webhooks to make sure those payments only get processed after a verification code gets sent to a user. There are so many technologies that go into play here, it's actually kind of crazy. So at the time that I started building Empor only six months ago, I was looking for an internship and those companies like Amazon were my dream positions. And I really had almost nothing on my resume. It was just a few smaller companies and then a very small coding project. And then when I got these interviews all of a sudden, they almost exclusively asked me questions about Empor. They barely asked me any questions about my previous internships. Honestly, I think it's because they were so impressed that I built this out myself from scratch and it's a massive bonus that I have a couple hundred users on the platform. So if you're an aspiring software engineer, especially one that has an empty resume, I highly, highly recommend working on a personal project that actually has an impact. It could really show you're not only driven and passionate about coding, that you have a self-starter mentality and that's what they're actually looking for when they hire these engineers. And you really don't have an excuse these days because with AI, it's never been easier to actually build something. So put your passion to use and get coding and smash that subscribe button to join our community. I'll see you in the next one.